All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back to the Outer Wilds. I, I'm so used to saying cyberpunk, I almost said cyberpunk. But, uh, <laughs> not to horribly date this at all, but let's check this out. Oh, this is where the other, uh, fee was. Yeah, tuna is not the only source of protein a busy worker needs. In fact, tuna inside anything other than a tuna casserole is disgusting. Where am I, uh, going? Over there? I'm in the grave digger's house. That must have been his office then down there. See, what do you do when you live in a corporate dystopia? You just steal people's shit. I wonder if I can use this as a melee weapon. Oh, speaking of weapons. No, uh, equipped, equipped. I can use this as a weapon. <laughs> Knock. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Sir, I'm here to collect your uh, fees, but what the hell are you babbling about? The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. <laughs> I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? And who's in this resistance, sir? <laughs> uh... I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. So tuna cans, mostly, some spaces chaw, few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Okay. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. No, you wouldn't. Thank you. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Sure, but uh, Silas also sent me. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Sure did. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Go on. All right, so what exactly do you do here? What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. It's a robot.
Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Okay, the first part of that is true. <laughs> this man's crazy. Workbench. Okay, repair and upgrade and modify stuff. Lovely. I love crafting. Uh, did he walk out? Alright, we're good. And he just stopped there, that's great. That's even better. So, uh... task what is that that's the graveyard fees die robot die what is this oh retrieve the medicine cash this is just over here then we'll go back into town get the last of the graveyard fees turn that in and then uh talk to uh what was his name reed Enemy dots over there. What? Hostility detected. Please lower your hostility. Okay. Stop moving. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That is not the correct button. Nothing. No parts. Effective against heavy armor. Okay. Uh, ooh, what's in here? Absolutely nothing. What's in here? Small percentage of weapons armor uh, may find considered pristine. Oh, interesting. Got some ammo. here no in the fridge All right, back to the crazy man Ludwig I thank you for your fees I also murdered that robot for you can I go in here what's in here This, this has to be his, like, little apartment. Wait a minute. I'm not actually stealing any of this stuff. Sweet. Hey, buddy. The, the robot's dead. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Yeah, that seems better. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Well, uh, you had your secret weapon in the bathroom? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. You mean like they normally do? 
or maybe not specifically the bartender, but you know, somebody who works there. There we go. that said we ain't making our quotas. I don't know you. I'm new in town. <laughs> we don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Perception, uh, something's going on here. I know about, know about that. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can tell. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Deserters? Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Uh, want to talk to Reed? Where can I find him? Just felt like chatting. Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. Right. Uh, you say that like it's a good thing. <laughs> uh, there's something else I wanted to ask you. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Right. Sure. Corporate, di corporate dystopia. Goodbye. Is this the bathroom? Ludwig's bundle? Can I... Okay, so let's go with ranged again. Defense, dialogue. Tech, leadership. Let's uh, do stealth and just pour the rest of this into that. Oh, what it what what did what was it? What was in the bundle? Okay. Return to Ludwig. I gotta go back to him? Which way was he? Oh, Phyllis is over there. Oh, she's inside. We okay. Let's go back to Little Whip then, because that's where uh, that's where Reed is, right? Yeah. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? I'm not holding out. Right. Oh. Shit. we go once more all right I found your uh, bundle hidden behind the toilet bring us honor soldier right feast your eyes soldier this here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit 
designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. Ooh. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. So what's next? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into oh, it's the a black heart okay. of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Okay, uh... I feel like I'm gonna regret getting mixed up in this. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Simple enough, how am I supposed to get that? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. Oh, God. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Okay. Well, excuse me. What I meant was, I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Okay. If you Definitely. die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Thanks, buddy. You don't even know my name. <laughs> Modifications. So let's, uh, shock damage, let's do it, and we're gonna move that, where's the, there you go. Back inside, yeah, we're definitely gonna, gonna, um, Oh wait, no, I still need to speak to Reed, so that's uh That's a good thing. Oh my god, I remember the cauterizers. Or the plasma cutters. That's They're great. <laughs> they're just basically laser swords. Like energy blades. They're even designed like energy swords from uh Halo. Literally, the only difference is this has a regular hilt. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. Hmm. Nobody's here. Okay, well, let's go talk to Phyllis. Okay, sweet. Walk right past you and nobody's mad. Phyllis! You the new worker? No. Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Yeah, don't get snippy with me. Graveside fees. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said the guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. 
Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Okay, the, uh, that's an awful thing to say. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Excuse me? Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Okay. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. He's a human being. You can't be serious. What are they gonna do, arrest his corpse? <laughs> When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his Adams be commended to the law. Yeah, that's not what I meant, but All I definitely. know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace. And the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Right. Yeah, corporate dystopia. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this playthrough. <laughs> Back to the elevator. Down. They told them I need to explain this aggression. The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry. Mr. Thompson, sir, you asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Seems we've got a guest. Yeah. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. She I did. was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Uh, are you Reed? I was told to talk to you. Must be the town boss. I'll wait until you finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? This is incredibly absurd. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yeah, I do not have a uniform. Uh, I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Uniform, what are you talking about? Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Right. Uh, my ship needs repairs. Don't plan to stay long. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. 
I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Right. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. Jesus. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Uh, let's see. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh, tell me what I need to do. What a surprise. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Uh, don't think these people take kindly to losing their powers. You mean marauders? No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. No, I don't think the so. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Uh, if you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay. All right, uh, how do I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay, so an older woman. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Or maybe you'll have some independence. <laughs> <coughs> of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. That would be fine. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, Sorry. I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, Pravati, let's go. Oh wait, shit. Yes, companions. Their skills add to mine. <laughs> hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Sure. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. No, it's welcome just, to company. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, this is about the deserters, so what, uh, what's the other side? Huh. He didn't strike me as honest, he didn't, of course not, he's a corporate type. Uh, uh, what he said, pretty straightforward to me. Want to deal with the news? <laughs> Jesus! Uh, if I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armored. <laughs> oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. 
To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. If that's how he sees people, I guess he's never heard a PS4 operate. Uh, can't blame anyone for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Well, how well do you, uh, how well did you know the deserters? Hmm. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Right. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, uh, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Uh, what do we need to talk to the vicar about? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's okay. just an idea. That's all. Well, it won't hurt. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Well, your pops was a smart man. Right. Wait, what, what quest do I have active right now? Oh, return to Silas. Okay. We'll go, uh... I actually know what... Where is he? I think hey, I saw a church Where's over this way. Or some way. I've been feeling pretty low these days. I've never actually been in here. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. The office is writing a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Purchase them? You don't pay me to do them? As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. Fingers? I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Can I bring you their heads? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Uh... I'm not gonna bring a, that up. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. <laughs> I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Right. Sounds like slavery. Careful, stranger. Talk like that comes dangerously close to sedition. Yeah, but this is not a government, nor am I a part of it. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. So you're basically a bureaucrat. There was other thing... Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Something to report? Goodbye. Oh boy. Finger in the cannery today. Right, where was that, uh, church? Right Every there. The cannery. Mr. Vicar! Weird in here. It's too clean. I must speak with ye. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Uh, Pravati wanted to talk to you. Uh, how did you know I'm an outsider? I'm pretty sure it's obvious. Spiritual advice? I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. 
Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Uh, maybe it's because you're so dismissive. Quite inappropriate for a vicar, isn't it? Uh, I'm a bit surprised I didn't hear dismiss practitioners so casually. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Right, isn't your job to raise that? No, I am not. Though there is something to your accusation. It is wrong for me to succumb to distress. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Okay. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh, fix the geothermal plant, cut the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Uh, so what do you advise? What do you think of Adelaide's group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? To, uh, okay. Depends on how well leadership can provide be, uh, beyond your walls. So what do you advise? Great, can we wrap this up? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? All right, just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like a good work cut out for me. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay. Handsome sum, you say? Tell me more! Uh, why would a bigger be after banned heretical books? I assume you want to burn it once you got your hands on it. What? No! I don't want to burn it! I would never... I mean, I just want to... Uh, look, I have a very simple goal here. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. For an enlightenment to happen, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, you make a compelling argument. Seems to me like the authorities would have an interest in hearing. Let's see. I'll need to know a little bit more of what I'm looking for. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Sure, why not? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. Should they ever read it. Alright. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Alright, you ready to go, Pravati? Wait, where's the door? This way. And here's Silas. Oh, 
shit. Went through the wrong door, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Oh god. Okay, did somebody see me do that? Nice. Oh, she she likes my lock pickings. Right, let's just run around. Since we came out the wrong door anyway. Uh okay. Silas, my friend. You're gonna need to collect some teeth, but I do have your fees. Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this lady. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. I need to look at it, but I think she might have the, Best uh... to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. That's nice. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah, got your fees. Uh... You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. So hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Uh, Abernathy was trying to hide his illness. And eh, we'll leave it. But I think she has the same voice actor as uh, Pan Am. But we'll see. Uh, do divert the power from the geothermal plant. Read, reads message. Deliver to. Oh, deliver reads message. Retrieve the logic module. Fistful of digits collect. Oh, let's uh, let's do this. Tension with the faction has changed. Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Got to take the proper paths. Or maybe I was just stuck on rocks. All right, what is she, uh... Can I switch to her, her inventory? Can I make her equip things? Where is she? Pravati. Oh my god. Talk. Yeah, huh? Uh, notice you mentioned your debt. We're not gonna do that right now. Never mind. Uh, we'll look at that later. Hello, boys. I'm here for your fingers. Take all that. Okay, go on quiet. Oh, that's a. Uh... You're, you're a little too close for comfort. Come on, it's not as fast as I was pumped. Oh, shit. Gotta get the sniper. Stop running from me, you fool. ammo for that. <laughs> right. Who, uh, who's left? Everyone all right? 
He's dead up there. Oh, we killed them all? Good. Oh, again. Nothing there. Whose fingers am I taking? His? Hello, sir. Give me your finger, please. Got a hunting rifle. That's nice. Alcohol or maple syrup, whichever it is. Anything here to loot? Right, there's one that way. Oh, that's the constable. Uh, that's another one. Doc Maybell. See how far out they are. Primal Behemoth. Oh, that's that's asleep. Let's uh, let's go around this big boy here. No, no. No, y'all can stay asleep. Thing. Assault rifle. Also another assault rifle. Lovely. Oh, this is the geothermal plant. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Uh, we will do that in a bit. We got to uh to oh god. Get ready! Excuse me, no! Huh. So this way? Nope, gotta go around. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Wait. Oh. Oh, I should probably also... All right, fine. Oh, oh, that's right. That's how that works. And she's pretty good on that. That do her any better? Seven versus five. Let's switch her back to that. Can uh, she doesn't have perk points, so we're gonna go back to me. Only got six shots. down thank you for dying quickly nope oh shit I'm not good at no scoping No, 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 no. Okay, 
There we go. We good? Yeah, I know I can give them better armor, but I don't have any better armor than what she's got on right now. Where is Pravati? Oh. Standing there like a monolith. Rifle. Whose fingers am I collecting? Did I already get the fingers? Oh shit. Wasted ammo. Gotta love wasting ammo like that. Take a look around still. Anything in this building? Can I get in here? Okay, I guess that's it. I must have already gotten the fingers. That's fine though. All right, so let's uh, let's level up. That's so. Leadership. What what does intelligence? Yeah. No. All right. So let's go. Ranged, obviously. Twice. Stealth lock picking tech. All right, uh, companion ability, companion two. Okay, thank you for that. What is this? Tactical time dilation, no vendor prices, companion, 50% uh, XP from companion kills. Summary. Wait, what? Is there a way to improve the abilities? Rotation. Spacious choice kind of likes me. But we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, so we gotta find a way in. Journal. Oh, we'll figure that out in a second. Uh, in there. Oh, it's beyond that. Uh, is there a map? So is this it? What is this? No. Where are we going? Heading around. Is there a way to get around? There we go. Something is hostile. Oh, son of a bitch. No, it's not gonna. Just ignore it. Come on, Bravati. Just ignore the damn things.
small little town. Was it mostly deserted? Or dead? Dead's the right answer. <laughs> Makeshift low pressure suit, how how well does that compare? That does make it up. another oh that's just that's just a bushel of flowers All right, and I think this is the deserter camp so I think when we return tomorrow we're gonna go interact with them and see what we can do about getting that geothermal plant uh, fully switched around and our, our power converter for the ship ready and all of that goodness so i thank so much for watching ladies and gentlemen citizens of the empire if you enjoyed and you're watching on youtube like comment subscribe do all that shit to help me out if you're on twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already and i will see you all tomorrow mm -hmm.